Uh, the new book is Folks, This Ain't Normal. <laughs> and, and the whole idea behind the book is, um, is to, to help people understand what the last hundred years, the, 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 the extent of the abnormality mm. of the last hundred years. The whole food police thing, the whole, I mean, that, that, that a culture would actually regulate that you can't, that, you, that, that a neighbor can't sell raw milk to a neighbor or, uh, or a pound of sausage, you know, that you, can't, that you can't come together as a community, have a hog killing, and everybody um, then at the end of the day buy their pieces and take them home. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that Aunt Matilda at the Lutheran church can't make pickles and sell them to the Sunday school teacher in her own church, mm -hmm. that, that they quilt together and, you know, we, we've never had, we've never had this kind of a, what I call disconnect to our ecological womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to our ecological beautiful. umbilical. Beautiful. We've never, we've never been able to sever that like we are now. And so, what I, obviously, there's a lot of humor in the book, um, a lot of stories. But the idea is that when you get done, I want people to understand. Wow, uh, we've been snookered. We've been snookered by the people with, by the drug companies. We've been snookered by the mechanical food companies. We've been snookered by this, this, this quote-unquote developed agenda, you know, the Star Trek mentality that we mm -hmm. actually uh, can live very well on, on bar-coded, vacuum-sealed, amalgamated, extruded, prostituted, reconstituted. Um, That's you know, your new uh, one. <laughs> amalgam, okay? Right. Th that we really can live on that. Uh -huh. And so at the end of the book, you put it down and you say, wow, you know, how can I restore normalcy uh, mm -hmm. in my life? Well, the book is being published by Hachette Group, a um, big New York publisher, yes. and they anticipate it's going to go... They've, let me put, they've invested a lot, uh -huh. and businesses don't invest a lot without expecting something in return. They've all been very positive, very powerful. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, one, uh, um, the author of The Last Child in the Woods, uh, his, his said, uh, this book could change a generation's uh, mindset. Weston A. Pricers are going to love this book because mm -hmm. not only do I, of course, tout uh, Weston A. Pricers. Oh, oh, yeah. See, one of my hidden agendas was to use this platform to introduce the world to all of this <gasps> lunatic fringe, you know, holistic management, ranching for profit, um, Weston A. Price, um, immune therapy. I mean, all this, this, this stuff that never gets in the front page of the news. You know, don't, wow. you know, how many times do you read an article in the major media and you say, man, but they don't know about us? Um, there's a big section about uh, food regulations and food police because that's so abnormal. It's never been illegal to buy milk from a neighbor. Ne never. Yeah, that's an experiment. It's a guinea pig experiment. Do you mention the legal defense one? Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> I mention, you know, and I say everybody that you know is interested in food freedom and choice, you know, that really thinks they own their three trillion member internal community, needs to join FTLCD. I, I mean, I put it right in the book, and it and it was not edited out, and so I think there's a real hunger for answers. Pe people, they don't know that they have alternatives. They don't know that they can eat differently and feel better. They don't All know. they think is mm -hmm. drugs and the surgeon. You know, and and and, and it's and that's tragic. And so, um, so I want to enter. So the book does introduce to all these things. So every single person can restore a degree of normalcy, mm -hmm. because the chances are the way the way to bet is that this hundred-year blip in history is not going to continue as is. We're not going to continue to ship squash fifteen hundred miles. We're not going to continue to import apples from China. Mm -hmm. Chances are there's going to be a return to some of this localized, mm -hmm. domestic, um, um, visceral touching and involvement mm -hmm. with the physical parts of our life. Do you have any food reserves in your home right now? How long could you provide food for your family if the food supply was cut off? A month? A week? Three days? Wouldn't you feel better if you had the necessary reserves? Have you ever noticed that the more advanced we get, the less prepared we are? Many things that defined life only a hundred years ago are so convenient today that we don't really think about what would happen if that convenience were gone. Consider how we get our food. 
we just go down to the grocery store and grab a few things. But what if something happened that interrupted the food supply to the store? How long would it take for the shelves to be wiped out? What would you do? How long could you and your family survive? You know, for all the other important things in our lives, we have a variety of professionals, from mechanics to doctors, to help cover our bases. Why don't we also have a food professional? Food is our greatest dependency. Yet most of us find ourselves unprepared for the uncertainties that lie ahead. Why take chances? Why not do something about it? You've already taken the first step. Keep moving forward with this tour and we can help you put a plan together and even show you how to get your food for free.